about soda. Soda is a very popular drink. We've probably all seen Coca Cola advertisements. At first, soda was sold as medicine. Later on, it was sold in far at soda fountains and pharmacies. I think soda is so popular because of fizz. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how soda gets its fizz. The fizz bubbles in soda are carbon dioxide, or CO2, which means one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms that can never break apart. Manufacturers make this beverage by putting carbon dioxide in water at high pressures at 1,200 pounds per square inch. Now I'm going to show you how to make soda, but just on a smaller scale with my soda screen. First, I've already washed my hands and prepared my workplace. Next, you need a cold bottle of water. Put it into your soda screen, which has carbon dioxide container in it. Push down this button until you get three beeps. Wow, look at that. My soda has bubbles in it. That is the pressure being released. And some of the carbon dioxide bubbles float to the top. Well, some of them are still stuck in the water because they don't have enough energy to wiggle free. Next, I put in a flavor. I got cola, uh, Dr. Pepper, or not. And then I pour the into the cap three fourths of the way full. And then I tilt the bottle and pour it in there slowly so the carbon dioxide doesn't have enough energy for it to pop out. Cap. And I turn it back and forth to mix it, but not fast enough, like you're shaking a can of soda to give it enough energy to explode. Well, instead of that, let's just enjoy some of my soda. Uh, next time, I hope you're enjoying a, a can of soda. I hope you know what's inside of it.